Welcome back, welcome back. I have another fun video for you guys. This is going to be a wig try on and it's going to be a little different than what I normally do because this is between my daughter and myself. So we're both gonna be trying the same wig. Who wore it best? The same wig from Hair Given Hair. As you know, I love Hair Given Hair. I've worn a lot of their wigs before and so I thought I would show it to you here between again my daughter and myself but first let's do a quick little unboxing you guys know they have amazing packaging it's done really well it's all in the details I think if you want something luxurious for yourself or for your friend or anyone you really love then hair given hair is for you especially if you want hair that looks like natural type 4 hair I mean, they have different textures, uh, ranging from 3C, 4B, 4C, 4A, curly, coily, blown out. They have so many different amazing products. You just have to check out their website. But anyway, I'm in love with their packaging, so I love a good unboxing. And I want you to see exactly how the unit comes. They actually even included some masks, which I thought was really cute. How nice, especially during these times, right? Who, who wouldn't <laughs> want an extra high quality mask? Okay, it also comes with this drawstring silky bag with the logo on it. And here's the unit, well packaged. It comes with this description card. As you can see, this is a lace front, 3B, 3C. It has extra combs. The unit also comes with a protective netting over it, which you'll just need to gently remove. The first thing I notice is the generous amount of lace on this lace front wig, 13 inches by six inches, which means you're gonna have a lot of parting space in the front or on the sides. It also comes with an adjustable elastic strap in the back, which you can choose to wear or not. But again, look at the generous amount of lace that you're getting. And of course, some of it may need to be cut off to suit you. There's also a lace piece in the back that will need to be cut off. You can also see the comb in the back and two combs on the side, which you can use to properly fit your wig. You also have adjustable straps on either side. So point is, you can make this wig as comfortable as you like to suit your head. And just make sure you get the right size cap. This is a medium size, by the way. So I want you to see the wig straight out of the box. I haven't done anything to it. Look how natural this hairline is. Just look at it. It already has been pre-plucked for you. You don't have to do anything unless you really want to. The knots are pre-bleached as well. The transparent lace, oh my goodness, it's amazing. Like you put it and it disappears on your skin. And I'm just gonna show you here what I mean. So this is a piece of the actual lace. Look at it against my skin. Like I think that is amazing. And this is going to suit so many different skin tones. You're not gonna see the lace. I mean, if you want to add some makeup to it, that's up to you but I'm telling you, there's so little work required with this wig. And look how I'm parting it in just different directions. I also want you to see the back where the tracks were sewn in. So of course you're not gonna be looking at the tracks in the back because no one parts right on the back of your head. Anyway, let's try on this wig. Again, I haven't done anything to her yet. Now I understand some people might find hair given hair um, wigs very expensive, but you really have to look at it as an investment, a high quality investment in yourself or someone you care about. Um, this is a product that's going to last you for years and it really does look very natural. So, you know, there are people out there with alopecia, there are people who've had cancer, there are people who've lost their hair for different reasons. This would be a great way to switch up their look or if they just wanna try natural looking hair, I think this would be perfect. So anyway, let's have some fun. I'm gonna try this wig on Mariam. We're gonna see what this wig looks like on her. 
So say hello, this is Miriam, <laughs> the youngest daughter or the youngest child. I have three children, she's the youngest. She is 19, she is very sassy. You may not see it in the beginning, but in the end of this video, you'll see some clips of her. <laughs> so she has a lot of hair, she has a lot of long hair, and I also wanna point out that just because you have a lot of hair or long hair doesn't mean you can't wear a wig and have it look, you know, fairly natural. So, of course, she doesn't need a wig. Again, we're doing this for fun. I just want to demonstrate to you how a wig could look um, on someone who has a lot of hair. So I'm just braiding it down. I'm just going to braid it down. And these braids don't have to be super neat or super perfect. I just want a very flat base. So that's the whole point, you want a flat base. One long braid done, several more to go. So all you need is a very flat base, whether you cornrow or whether you just do plaits and combine them, or if you can't do either, then you can just put it in a bun, um, as long as it's, again, nice and flat. So now I'm combining the braids into like three large plaits because it's easier to work with. And then using a crochet tool, the same kind of crochet tool you would to do, you know, crochet braid hairstyles, I weave it in between her already cornrows and kind of make this nice flat circle. So this is going to give me a long base and a way to hide her braids. And then I'm gonna use some weaving, weaving thread, hair weaving thread to just sew it in place. So here comes the stocking. <laughs> And I'll be honest, this was the first time I was doing it on somebody else and I was trying to do the ball cap method. So I have some got to be uh, gel and I'm just putting that in front of her hairline because the whole point is to apply the wig and not have any of her hair showing. And then to make sure that the part of the cap that I want doesn't move, I'm sewing that in place. And I'm doing it where it's not too tight. So you don't have to worry, it's not too tight. And this is not a method I made up. This is a method a lot of stylists use. I just, you know, use YouTube University to teach myself. <laughs> so I'm applying a thin layer of Ghost Bond from the beauty shop. And that, once dried, will allow the lace wig to adhere. <laughs> Here, Miriam was just not trusting the process, thinking I was going to cut her, but of course I did not cut her. No. So another layer of ghost bond and then you kind of spread it and let it dry. Again, this is in front of her hairline. And like me, she has a low hairline. So I'm really curious how this is going to look. I'm also applying some powder so that when you part the hair, it's going to look like scalp, basically. So here's the hair. This is before I did anything with it. And then I just wanted to show you here is what it looked like after I pre-pooed it with some conditioner and rinsed it out. You know, basically wetting the hair just allows the curls to totally pop and come to life. Just look how juicy those curls are. And I'm getting minimum shedding, really barely any shedding and really no tangling. So here is the wig on her head. You can still see the lace. Look at that hairline. It's really natural looking. Again, I didn't pluck it. So, you know, it is what it is, but I think it looks fine overall. Of course, look at her complexion and somehow the hair just looks a lot darker than I, you know, thought it would be. Of course, you'll see that on me, the same hair looks perfect in terms of complexion. Like it doesn't look that dark because it's a natural color. But for some reason on her, it looks like the hair is very dark. But anyway, so I'm working the baby hairs right now and I'm not very good at baby hairs, but... I tried <laughs> and this is what she looks like okay so let's give her a little bit of style okay and if you want to see what she was saying you'll watch to the end of the video so I'm gonna give her some style I'm gonna do some braids because I think that's age appropriate how cute is this braid right how cute again she is 19 and uh, yeah, don't you think that's cute? I like that look. You can also add some embellishments from your beauty shop. Very easy 
um, to do and I really like how that looks. I then turned the large braid in the front to two small braids and added some beads and then turned the back into a ponytail, kind of a large puff if you will. And I think it looks very cute. What do you think? Comment below, what do you think? Doesn't that wig look good? I mean, it really doesn't look like a, a wig in my opinion, at least from behind, even from the front, it just looks like she dyed her hair because we know her natural hair is lighter in, com you know, in color. So thank you, Miriam, for being a beautiful, wonderful, patient model. <laughs> and now I'm going to show you what I do. So we're going to keep it really simple. I'm not going to do that whole um, stocking cap molding thing. We're not doing that. Look at my edges. They're natural. They're rough. I'm adding the stocking cap and then uh, I'm just pulling it back and I'm going to cut off that lace in front. So I don't want any major baby hairs, none of that. So what I'm going to show you is that it's really simple. So I kind of define my part just a little bit. That's pretty much all I do because that's, I like to wear my hair, you know, in a parting on the side. And then I'm cutting off part of the band. I just brush some of those hairs in the front because that's what I'm going to use to kind of blend in with the wig when I put it on. All right, on goes the wig. It's as simple as one, two, three. Just pop it on. Make sure the comb, you know, goes in where you want it. Um, there are also two combs on the side. You might have to shift the wig a little bit so that the parting on the wig aligns with your natural parting. And that's how you fool the eye. Of course, if you don't want a parting, you don't have to have a parting. So I'm just sort of brushing with the comb my natural hairline into the wig or into the hair in the front. And then again, I like to focus on making sure the parting looks continuous with that of the wig that I've created. You see, when I pull it apart, you really can't see where the wig ends and where my hairline ends or starts. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of got to be or whatever your favorite gel is. And then I just smooth it out and blend it with the front of the wig. Because again, I'm wearing the wig behind my hairline instead of the expected in front of my hairline. So I'm not gluing it to my forehead. I always wear it behind my hairline. It just looks more natural for me, especially as someone who barely has a forehead <laughs> or low hairline. And then I back comb the front a little bit because I find that it looks more natural when it's not perfect. So anyway, what do you think? See, it was easy like one, two, three. Beautiful. And that's the back, of course. And then when I pull it to the side, you don't see any lace. You don't see any wig. Hello. <laughs> Happy New Year, by the way. Happy New Year from wherever you're watching me from. All right. So I'm just going to turn the head to one side. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? Okay. We need a few hairstyles. So I like to pull a little bit of the hair in front. And then we're going to put it into a ponytail. And I also cut a few strands in front just to make it look more natural. It just looks natural and soft to me. So that's a side ponytail for you. And yeah, I would totally walk outside like this. And I don't think anybody would just think that's a wig. I mean, wig where? Wig what? <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to show you again the hair. Once you wet it, it's nice and juicy. It's so soft and bouncy. I love it. I hope you can see the length. And there's a link in the description box for this actual unit that I'm wearing. Okay, let's show you another look. So I'm twisting the front and then I pull it to the back and we have her doesn't she look like she stepped out from the 70s disco era like i just feel like i'm going to a party i'm going to either a disco themed party or just a new year's party happy new year's again by the way if i haven't said it already happy new year <laughs> i felt so cute look at my round face i think this hair totally suits me so then I decided on this giant, ridiculous silver flower. Like, why not? Hello. 
<laughs> big hair, big flower. Hey, it matches my blouse. Do you see the silver earrings, silver flowers, silver blouse? Is it too much? Is it too much for you? Nah. <laughs> All right, let's say we're going to a more formal event, okay? This is a more formal event. Why not, you know, do a roll in the back? I don't see women doing this hairstyle as much, but I always remember women having their hair rolled up in the back. And I think it's cute, simple and elegant. You see my earrings to go? And the little, you know, the little tendril in the front to define the curl, just add a little bit of water and you get a little bit more curl. Cute, huh? I mean, seriously, does that look like a wig? That is not your mama's wig. No, ma'am, that is not your mother or grandmother's wig at all. Can I have a thumbs up? <laughs> thumbs up if you agree that does not look like a wig. Of course, we have the silly little ears. Why not again? I mean, come on, have fun. When you get dressed up, have fun. If you have somewhere to go, look nice, have fun. All right, so this is what the hair looks like down. And then I thought, oh, we can't go without showing you a headband. So you could totally wear this as a headband wig if you want. If you didn't want to do your edges or if you didn't want to glue the wig down, just pop on a headband. You can lower it to your forehead if you prefer. But hey, it's a vibe with the hoop earrings. And then I like to do a big loose bun in the back. So this is definitely a look. And by the way, if you're not following me already on Instagram, follow me at Habiba to now MD. And yeah, let's be friends on Instagram. Also, definitely let me know which look was your favorite. Did you like it on Mariam's head or did you like it better on mine? And which version did you like? Thank you also to Her Given Hair for the opportunity to showcase this unit with you guys. Thank you. Just relax. <laughs> so you stop. should be cutting down, no, not up. Okay, you all right. Sure, cool. <laughs> hey, hey. Just relax. You're <laughs> touching my forehead. Mariam, of course. You gotta feel that. I'm not cutting you. <laughs> God. I'm it's glad just... you didn't become a surgeon. <laughs> oh but. <laughs> this horse hair. No. Scalp someone with this. With that what? Scalp someone to get this. No. Someone maybe donated their hair. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks good. I think it looks good. This is, I feel like I'm cheating on my hair. <laughs> side part, which is your side? The you side? did this this week. I don't know. Which is your side? I don't know. You tell me. Maybe no, the side where the high-ass eyebrow this is, is you should do it on that, okay? <laughs> it's, the, it's the disconnect between I see you parting hair, but I don't feel anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just weird because it's your first time wearing a wig. Yeah, that looks like your scalp. <laughs> <laughs>